everybody. Today is Friday, finally. So we are going to talk about something that for me sometimes is interesting and other time is something weird and illogical. That is the Guinness World Records. Do you know what is that? Okay, I'm going to explain you. Somebody tried to do something weird, different, and start to do uh, uh, a little things and do something that nobody else in the world do it uh, do it before. And now it's a uh, Guinness World Records. I'm going to tell you, for example, one uh, that I investigate and for me was oh, very interesting. In South Korea, in Seoul, is in Asia, uh, is proud to have one of the kind towers, whom uh, is one tower, 31 meters high, with only Legos. Yes, with Lego. Look this picture. Oh my God, I think this build is amazing. Uh, it look, it take five days, to make all this building, uh, 4,000 fans helped to do it. Oh my God, I think it is uh, super amazing. When I was a child and I played with my Legos, I tried to do something like this high. But this person, these people are crazy and they made a building. Oh, that is amazing. Other that I thought that was very weird was the one man who is Jeff Van Dyck that in April 2008, he used 127 t-shirts. Can you, uh, when you use one and one sweater, you feel like, uh, imagine this man, he used 127 t-shirts. In one day. I think that is illogical and weird, and I don't like it only to think uh, how he could feel with all these t-shirts. What do you think about this? Other people try to make the long nails in the world, or maybe the long hair in the world. For me, that is very weird. I don't like it enough. What do you prefer, the Lego or the t-shirt? I prefer the Lego. I think it's very interesting and they should need a lot of patience to do all this. And the other men only use and use and use and use and use and use and use a lot of t-shirts. Mm. That is something uh, logical for me. Now, I have a special guest because we are going to answer and have a new subject. Are you ready for my new uh, guest? Let's go to call. But we are going to need to call him like Moon. Can you repeat? Moon. Let's see who is my guest. Moon. Oh, look. It's my cow. No, it's not Lola cows. It's other cool cow. Hello. Well, she is very shy. Hello, can you say hello to my students here? Hello. Oh, yes, she is speak and she is speak English. Now we are going to see a new subject, but she is my guest. So I'm going to ask if she wants us something, but the correct way to ask something is no, hey, Hey, you pizza, you pizza? No, that is not right. The right way to ask to polite questions is, would you like some pizza? Yes, I would like some pizza. Excellent. I'm going to give you, um, 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 okay. Now, I have more for you. Tell me, is right if I ask, hey, you, chocolate, you, chocolate, is that right? 
No, it's not right. So, would you like uh, some chocolate? Yes, I would like some chocolate. So, here you are, some chocolate. Um, excellent. I have a something else for you. Hey, you, you, eh, cake. Is that right? No. Would you like a piece of cake? Yes. I would like a piece of cake. Very good. Here you are. Um, 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 um. This is a polite question. I help you to ask somebody like my friend Cal if you want a something. You don't ask, hey, you, hey, do you want the hey? No, that is rude, and we are very nice uh, boys and girls. So, for this reason, you need to ask, would you like, and you offer something for somebody. Okay? Now, it's time to say goodbye, my friend, Cal, because I'm going to explain you this subject. Friend, thank you for coming. Kiss. I love you. Say, hey, you don't say bye to my students. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, she was my friend, little cow. Now, no, it's not Lola. Now, I'm going to explain to you what is this, okay? But maybe, no, maybe, we are going to need our English book. So, I know you have your English book in your, uh, with you. Now, open your book in page 92. Ready? <laughs> Write the date. Excellent. Okay. Okay, you are in page 92. So, we are going to answer this page together. Would you like, we use would you like to ask polite questions. When we can also use will to answer a question. Example, would you like a cup of tea? Answer, yes, I will like a cup of tea. When we are giving something to another person, we say, here you are. Example, would you like a glass of milk? Yes, I will like a glass of milk. Here you are. Answer the questions in affirmative form. Would you like some cookies? And you want? How is the answer? Very good. Yes, comma. I would like some Cookies, period. And we are going to write here you are, period. Number two, would you like to give grandma her gift? Yes, it's affirmative. So, yes. I would like to give grandma her gift, period. Oh my God, it's a very long sentence. Now, what are you going to write in the last blank? Very good. Here you are, period. 
but know always that the people ask you, you want. For example, if somebody asks me, Isa, would you like fish? No, I don't like it. So I'm going to ask, no, I will not like fish. I hate, but you need to eat. Now, not always is affirmative. Sometimes could be negative. And when somebody asks you and you are going to ask in answer in negative, you are going to use no, I would not. Ugh. Okay? Please go your English book to page 93. You are going to write a day and together we are going to answer this page. I'm going to help you with a three sentence and you are going to answer the other three. When the answers to, a, to polite, polite questions is negative, we say, no, I will not. Example, would you like a glass of milk? Ugh. No, I will not like a glass of milk. <laughs> Answer each question in negative form. Would you like a piece of cake? It's negative. So, no, comma, I will not like a piece of cake, period, okay? Please, with your color red, mark, oh, sorry, you are going to mark no, I will not, okay? Number two, would you like some candies? It's negative, so no, comma, I will not like some candy, period. So with your color red, please, my Please mark, no, I will not. Number three, would you like French toast? Hmm, delicious. But then it's negative. No, I will not like French toast. Period. And you are going to mark Sentence four and five is your homework. I know it's super easy. Now, when you have in the future one guest in your home, don't ask, hey, will you, you, yes, I'm, mm, mm -mm. you are going to ask, would you like a piece of cake? Yes, please. Oh, here you are. Um, or maybe, would you like a piece of pizza? Yes, please. Here you are. Um, um if somebody asks you, would you like some chocolate and you don't want, you can answer no. I will not. Okay, maybe. I think this page is super easy. Please take a picture, send to my email, you know all this, and I'm going to check you. For me, it's time to say goodbye. I'm very happy to be here with you today. No, you don't feel happy? Let's go to play paper, rock, scissor. Ready? If you win, excellent. Paper, rock, scissor. I win. Paper, rock, scissor.
Oh my God, you are the winner. Paper, rock, scissor. Ah, ha, 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 ha. You can play this with your family. Bye-bye, babies.